<laughs> Since it now is thy turn to go north, all is ready for thy success. I see no more. You're a bit out of date, love. Tell me I was fucked. and I walk through a wall. Good effort though. Especially when you like bleeding to death. Exchange any cash, not long as I need it, then you know the world's destroyed. Have some new wife. Has vengeance been exact on battling for his evil deeds? Yes, marvellous. The world would be a better place. The children would be a knighthood. Small enough companions to protect thee. Look for me to monitor and those children need mine excellent skills. Perhaps I'll aid thee then. Really? You can train Petra. Nice. Look to the skills of it. I'll die down here. Finish having him move around before we uh, leave. We need to go to the Isle of Crips, I think it's the name is. What's that? There's somebody under the bed. I don't know who they are. They're not pikemen. This is just the knights. Well, no idea who they are. So, Serpent Gate. What the fuck is it? I haven't actually been like upstairs in the pub. Huh. Well, everybody 
close that. So. Now we're going to it that far then. Plays certain tunes in real old places. Rule Britannia on, on the Serpent Isle for a fucking start. Still in, in a dungeon. I have to use my teleporting wardrobe. Last one. Somewhere over here. I've got to find a way in. But I've got one way. If I walked all the way around this fucking island now, yes. Peace to those who follow the path of the serpent. Okay. A telephone. If you know seven lines. Darker tale falls on one of our great hero fans lies down to close his eyes forever. Country's grief is so apparent that it seems that it may be touched. Let's follow down to the lit this child could fill the void that falls the loss of the great hero fan. Anyway, acceptable pay loss respect and ceremony indicates that and tell how important this being was to our society and how much they are missed by us. But it must be laid in a state for three full days. In state. After the blessing body will be dressed in holy clothes, decorated with holy flowers, that Odin and Felix may see the great hero fan for the last time in a quiet manner. Loud wailing and gnashing is not tolerated. The pain must be held back until the outside of the shrine is reached. People may bring small tokens, leave them with the hero fan to show their gratitude. A state of mourning for a period of seven days is odd for the whole country. Every temple and every shrine will be open day and night. People may gather at all times and share their grief. One last word to those people who have never followed the great hero fan with their heart. Rebellion, interruptions at the ceremony and all other possible disturbances be prosecuted and punished. No crime will go unseen. Keep in mind, the serpent watches over all. Well. Good. Place of meditation. Place thine offerings upon the altar. Mm, didn't ring any. Sorry.
boys for this book and express my pride among the few that are allowed to serve I bet it's on the purpose of it. It's on the few people who have left these days who know what life is about. His written leadership has shown me the purpose of life to serve him is quite experienced and I'm thankful to the one who blessed with the duty. He told me about many events in his life, not to share these with me. At one point in his life he lived in the Isle of Balance, which is all known as Sunrise Isle. He had climbed the mountain there to the top is where the most amazing of his stories took place. On top of that mountain he had the voice of the greatest serpent. The greatest serpent told him to commission the building of serpent gates and three grand shrines. Believe me, reader, when I listened to this, I shuddered with awe. I don't believe that I am the one chosen to be serving. What blessing is this? Really a secret door, but it will balance stand here Ooh. is wisdom. Serpent of gold can send thee along the path to knowledge, but only if balanced by wisdom. Now, I already have felt the ill fortune by a world without wisdom. Use thy newfound wisdom to balance the power of gold. idea.
Children of gold can send their long path knowledge but only if bounds by wisdom. It's already felt ill fortune. And I use that newfound wisdom to balance the power of gold. You use the scroll to balance it. Because that is my newfound wisdom. You eat me gold and I Yes. What the fuck? Where the hell was I? Ah. What did it send me? supposed to put something on there. Same thing happen again. Ah, just loaded the wrong fucking straight up there. Doing anything with that book makes you teleport. So, War of Imbalance, Ceramis. This should make last entry. It might fall follow my kinsman to a better life. It is appropriate, I think. His newly bound book with the finest vellum. After all, there may be an age or more before it is found. If ever, before I continue, I should write a few words about mine, Helmland, Serpent Isle. Before the War of Imbalance, the dreadful war that did tear us from our beloved homeland, Serpent Isle was a fair land indeed. Landed in harmony, and people were at peace. Secure with our glorious subterranean seas, the arts prospered under the generous patronage of the most beloved Hierophant. Blessed be his name. No citizen went hungry or was bereft of home. We were content and happy. We had no reason to suspect our happiness could not continue indefinitely. We were so naive. The war of imbalance died simply enough, but by the time it was over, most of our people were slaughtered, our cities devastated, and the land laid waste. I've been lucky, for I've survived to write about the tragedy. I cannot say the same thing about many of the friends. They're all dead. Even as I write, the adepts are scurrying about preparing for the great ceremony that shall energize the wall of lights. Soon I and my surviving comrades shall leave our shattered land, never to return. I'm afraid of the future, but I now cannot live in the past. I can only remember the past. I shall strive to remember the times of joy and try to forget the ashen, bitter memories of the war. The adepts are ready. They've begun the ceremony. I feel a great surge of power. The light it is blinding. The adepts have succeeded. The wall of lights is so beautiful. The end. Heart of the 
serpent. Okay, I'll just cast this spell field. Apparently so. And now I've got the heart of the serpent. What the fuck? Serpent eyes, eye of the serpent, whatever. He's dead. Platform. Do I do something with the eye of the serpent on the platform? Last time away from the Son of Death, I know thee for the great Earth Serpent whispered to me thee. Welcome, noble Avatar, who has arrived on the very brink of disaster. It is up to thee to restore the world to its needful balance. But first, thou must arm thyself with the symbols of my authority, the staff, armour and crown of the great Earth Serpent. Okay, well I've got a crown. I think I found the staff at the beginning of the game, and that's what I can carry around. Not the armour. Good, that's my serpent staff, which is both support and a weapon to smite those who would unsee the delicate balance. That's it did me a little good in the end. See that possess my serpent crown, well done. The crown my people set upon my head, recognizing the power of the great earth serpent through me. But I had no wish for the crowns so with aid the understanding of one's balance. Armour. Um, for that comes to complete their quest, they must have the serpent armour. They must ease the troubled heart and love before they can hope to obtain. She was once beauty herself, but chaos has pained her with ugliness. Lady Yolinda. Does thou not recognise him? Twas he who is free from the tyranny of Exodus in thine adventures of long ago. It was he who speaks with thee now in his whisperings from the deeps. It was the great serpent who maintained balance in the land, but when Exodus stole him, the serpents of chaos and order were left unto themselves. Thus came the war of imbalance, and when the great earth serpent had returned, it was too late. Order had won. Chaos was divided into the crippled banes. Oh. So the great earth serpent that was guarding the castle of Exodus in all the three that you had to blow the how did you get past it? You need a horn or something? It was the great earth serpent, which is the balance serpent. Right, cool. So essentially all this happened at the time of Ultima Three. The original war of imbalance with the Ophidians. Cool. The once like no, none but thou could prevail against the imbalance and time grows short. Alas, I must give a bit of news. For thy comes to restore balance, I must reunite the Chaos Serpent. I grieve that I cannot tell thee how this is done, so its knowledge was for the Chaos Hierophant only. As with me, thou must rest him from his last slumber to reveal his truth to thee, but alas, he was killed in the war, and I know not where his remains lie. Yet I must hope that thou shalt find his burial site, or all is lost. Hear wisdom, the bane of bane's of chaos are not thine enemy, nor their evil in themselves. Their disunity which has driven them into cruel insanity. Before the land can again live in balance, the banes must once more become the chaos serpent, united and intelligent. The way to do this is the secret held by the chaos hierophant. Now that must seek him out. If by some miracle thou are able to make the chaos serpent whole, then hasten to the grand shrine of balance. Only there can I complete that work and the plague end the plague which affect this land. Remember to bear each of the symbols of power upon thy person, or thou shalt not enter the most sacred precincts herein. Bye. 
Do not be hasty, Avatar. I can only speak with you this once. I was sure that I just understood all, understand all I have said. Yes. I must go now, into the void. My blessings are given to thee, hero from another world. Hail to balance. Whoa. Kills me with that fire there, thanks very much. 